to Take Two Radio, and I am the co-host tonight, kicking things off, because Miss Pam is slightly under the weather and is having some issues with her throat, so she has given me the <laughs> the duty of, of opening the show and saying hello to everyone, and uh, and we do have Pam on the line. I don't know how much she's going to talk I'm tonight. here, yes, I'm hey. here, but my throat is killing me, and yeah, oh. it's... One of those days, you know, winter yeah. comes and then you go mm-hmm. and you get hit with the the colds and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people well, have been sick with them. Well, there's just no way around it. You know, it, it's just the time of year everybody's shut up in their homes because of the weather and, and germs do manifest. So I do hope you feel better, but I'm glad that you're braving it enough to be on the line today because you know what? We have a phenomenal guest today and uh, Mr. Sean Kanan is with us and um, we're waiting for him to call in now, but um, as soon as he calls in, then we will um, go ahead and start um, talking with him about what he's been up to. And, and most of you know, he has recently returned to General Hospital as A.J. Quartermain. And uh, I know there's a lot of General Hospital fans out there that are just very, very excited about that. Um, I've watched him for years on Bold and the Beautiful and Young and the Restless and uh, playing the role of Deacon Sharp and a lot of uh, YNR fans and D&D fans here today as well, I'm sure. So for all the listeners out there, thank you so very much for joining us today. We do appreciate it and um, glad to have you here. We're all excited. I hope you're as excited as Sam and I are. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is right. <laughs> yeah. Now, I I, just, I absolutely I'm ecstatic that he's back on General Hospital. Mm-hmm. He's been very much missed on there. Although, you know, I love him on Bold and the Beautiful and Young and the Restless as well. But yeah, AJ's been gone for many years, and it's just it's great to have Sean back in that role. Well, you know, the things that General Hospital is doing of late, its writing team is just. They have really brought General Hospital, you know, to a whole new level in terms of writing and and direction and storylines, and they're bringing back some of the the familiar, old familiar faces of the past um, and resurrecting some storylines that I think is just, the fans are just eating it up. They're loving it. And I think no matter what soap it is, I think any time a soap does that, it it really does, um, it's a winner each and every time. And so to have him back in that role, um, you know, like I said, the fans are, you know, just loving it. So uh, let's hope he gets to stay around for a little while. Of course, you know, I would love to see him back on Bowling the Beautiful at some point. But, um, but you know, right now he's uh, it's great that he's back, you know, reprising that role and uh, no telling what's going on. So, um, you know, that's a great thing. And uh, I guess while we're waiting, um, I don't know uh, if you want to even go there, Pam, but um, I have been seeing, I don't, I don't know about you, but I've been seeing a lot on Twitter and Facebook and just different social media places of late about this whole Prospect, prospect Park um, with All My Children and One Life to Live. And I really hope there's some truth in that. But before we get into that, I think we have Sean on the line. I shall check. Hello, Take Two Radio. This is Sean. Uh-oh, it dropped. Oh, he just dropped. Oh, He's nice. going to have to call back. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had him. We had him for sure. So, folks, just bear with Did us everybody hear and... him? Did you everybody hear him? There, that was the interview. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll be back uh, this time next week. No, seriously, um, I never heard him. I mean, I saw him come in, and yeah. he just never. It was some um, technical difficulty either on. The, I don't think it's our end, but it's probably him trying to connect. So. Um, I don't know what it is about California, but, you know, a lot of the people that we have, um, California must be in a lot of bad areas, cell, cell reception, or maybe it's the fact there's so many people out on there, out there on the cell phone that it just overloads the line sometimes, who knows. <laughs> or they have a lot but, of dead um, areas if they're driving yeah, around or something. A lot you of know. valleys and so forth, you know, yeah. National Valley and, and just, ah. Uh, uh, but, yeah, we had him, so you know he's trying to get in. Uh, he's trying to call, so he would definitely call back, I'm sure. So, uh, But, yeah, I mean, as I was saying before he rang in, and maybe this will ring him back in, um, yeah. I've been hearing a lot about this, and, I, you know, I was um, never an ABC fan growing up because I was always watching CBS soaps. But I am just ecstatic. I hope that this does go through for the ABC fans and the fans of all my children and one life to live out there because um, this will be a major, 
huge um, positive turn in the direction of trying to get these folks back on the air, wouldn't you say? Yes, but, you know, we've been burned once, so all of us are very, very cautious. We want to believe them, but, you know, we're just standing in the background waiting to hear stuff. I know that people have signed. I know Vincent and Lindsay Hartley have signed up um, with Prospect Park again. But, you know, we've been through this before where they've signed up, a bunch of them. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're just cautious. We're just cautious. We, um, We want to see the first episode, I think, in front of our eyes before we actually go ahead and believe things again. Well, I hope for you guys, um, and, and granted, you know, I, some of the, the the soap folks that have been tapped to do this, um, you know, were on some of the CBS soaps back in the day, and uh, I've been a huge fan of individuals, you know, through the years, uh, no matter where they ended up, but I, I would really love for these these guys, not just from the standpoint of resurrecting those two folks, but to to have employment. I mean, a lot of them have been doing a lot of different things, a lot of projects, but, um, you know, a lot of them, they love, they love that genre and they love performing in the daytime dramas. And so um, it would be great to see them back, you know, in their original role um, in, you know, that capacity for the fans as well as themselves. So I'm I'm cheering it on. I know you're cautious for obvious reasons, but um, seeing as how I was never really a part of any of that, that for me is an exciting thing for everyone out there who, who really is a fan of, of those two folks. And I would hope that if, if that does fly this time around, let's hope the second, that the take two of this, as yeah. I intended, uh, would certainly be a take and um, and that this will... Uh, maybe possibly spur, you know, some of the uh, people of Guiding Light and not necessarily the safe actors, but those who hold the right to Guiding Light and as will return, it would be awesome to see them follow suit. Um, you know, so I'm always the eternal optimist, so we'll see what happens, but I'll keep my fingers crossed for you guys. So, um, yeah, thanks. We appreciate it. <laughs> well, I know a lot I, of people that don't know about it before are real excited, but... Those of us that have been through it already are just, like I said, waiting to see the first the first show appear before our eyes and the rolling credits and our same actors that were on there before and oh I know you know now, well um, it would it would be I can I can I can totally understand because I think if if it were a similar situation and it was pertaining to Guiding Light and As Will Turn and the fans got really ramped up and really excited and then they were let down in such a huge way. It would it would be um, Paul for being extremely cautious, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I can completely understand and appreciate um, why you know you're kind of going about it very carefully right now. Um, and when you see an episode, then you can all just go have this huge AMC and One Life to Live party, you know, and celebrate. So, uh, but again, I'm rooting for you all, and so I do hope for the best, and I hope it all turns out the way you would like for it to. Um, yeah, and- as I wrote on Facebook, my brain is cautious. My heart has scars, and my eyes are open. Yeah. That's, well, uh, and, and that's totally understandable. And Sean must be having problems getting through because he's not come back through the line yet, but I know he was on hold. Yeah. So um, thank you so much to the listeners out there who are being very patient as we wait for him to um, to call in. And um, so, Pam, we are um, almost <laughs> at the end of another year. Excuse me. I'm so, sorry, I coughed. I said, excuse me. <laughs> I okay, I didn't know if, if you had to uh, put the phone down for a second. Um, no. That's why I paused. But, um, mm-hmm. but no, I mean, we're at the end of another year almost, and uh, I cannot believe that we're just a couple of days away from a brand new year, 2013. And, um, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about 2013 because uh, there's a lot of things um, in store for 2013. I mean, I think there's a lot uh, to look forward to. What do you think? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that it's mm-hmm. better than 2012. Well, I, you know, I'm probably one of the few. I guess it depends on the individual and what kind of year they had. But I'm, I've had a really good year. Um, now, you know, in 2011, I lost my boyfriend of over two years unexpectedly, and so 2012 has turned out to be a much better year than I could have ever imagined. And 
you know, and, and uh, join forces with you in the in the meantime through the course of this year, uh, just meeting you and getting to know you and um, and us, you know, kind of combining forces with um, this and you know, it's just it's been a great experience for me. And so for me, I'm I've really been happy with the way 2012 has kind of unfolded, and I just look forward to what 2013 is going to bring. So uh, we just got so many great things, um, you know, in store and coming down the pipes. So it's just so exciting. So <laughs> it, yeah, there's the been a lot of ups and downs and whatever for me in 2012. Sure. So, but. Uh, you well, know the yeah. latter the latter part of it is going more towards the upswing and things that we have cooking in our ovens uh <laughs> come come twenty thirteen you know it makes me feel a little bit uh more optimistic that that it's going to be a better year next year i I think you're right, and uh I think uh you know I'm sitting here now coming off of probably one of the best years of my life going, how could it get better? You know, so I'm I'm eagerly uh, excited and optimistic as to what it may hold. Um, that's for sure. So certainly, you know, it can't get started soon enough. But, but yeah, I know there are some folks out there who, you know, they're just counting down the minutes until 12, 2012 is history and that they can kiss it goodbye forever and they don't ever have to think about it again. Yeah, you know, right. and that's okay. You, that's the great thing about a new year because we always have that opportunity to start again and, you know, and to kind of pick up um, – any pieces that are left and just move forward and uh, with a lot of optimism and a good positive outlook for, you know, it to be, you know, a brand new time in our life. So, uh, but I look forward to going into the new year with you and, and doing some great things that are going to be a lot of fun and, and um, you know, and working on some projects that we're doing together. So it's going to be great. I do I do believe that. Are you the type that makes New Year's resolutions? You know, I have never really gotten caught up on that. And the reason for that is because I probably would be probably one of the worst people to keep a resolution. Yeah. Um, I'm, I just don't, I'm not a big believer in them, only because there's so much hype or, or surrounding it. And I think it puts a lot of pressure on people like, you know, for example, the whole weight loss thing. Everybody, you know, they, they start out. I think that if you if you want to do something for yourself in that way, just do it. You don't have to wait for the new year. Just pick, just do it when it's, it's good for you. I mean, well, you know what? It's also like when you're going to start a diet and, and, and it's the weekend, and you go, "Well, I'll wait till Monday." But <laughs> or it's you know, you don't the do that. Start. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I'm a big believer in just living life and living it to the fullest and getting all you can out of it, and you know, and giving as much back to it as you can, and um. And it's just it's it's one of those things that I think um, you you know if if you start living by a set of rules that society says is what you need to do, then all of a sudden you're kind of um you know you're kind of caught in a, a trap. I think so. I'm a big believer. If if you are one that loves to make those things, great. But I personally don't care for it. <laughs> I just don't care for it at all. So I just like to live life and and all. But uh, but there are a lot of people out there that do love that sort of thing, and that's great. So, uh, but um, we have got a call coming in. I don't know. Pam is checking on that now, and I don't know if this is actually Sean or or if it's um, someone actually holding to speak to Sean when the time comes. But um, again, we just want to say um, hello and welcome to all the listeners today. We've got gosh, quite a few people in the chat room. We have it's called Wife, Michelle, David. Uh, we got Enrique. Uh, we have someone with the uh, screen name Surviving Cancer Gracefully. Um, and God bless you for that. And um, and a lot of guests and delayed. And it's just a um, great chat room today. So real excited to have everyone here. And um, and uh, we're glad that you're you're here with us. So it's um, you know I, I see you took the call and it was not Sean. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um... Yeah. 